Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Over the past few days, I have been doing some recipe testing. I have come up with a great macaroni and cheese that's easy and just so, so good. I wanna show you how I make it so you can do it too. Let's get started. The first thing I did was shred up four cups of cheese. I am just using what I have on hand, which is one part mozzarella. The rest is cheddar. I'm using mild cheddar and sharp cheddar, but use whatever you have, whatever cheeses you like, just combine four cups. And then I already just finished cooking a box of elbow macaroni noodles. The other thing I need to do is get my milk ready. I just wanna have it poured out and in the measuring cup. You just need four cups, preferably two cups of whole milk and two cups of cream, half and half or heavy cream. I am going to use two cups of whole milk and two cups of half and half because once again, that's what I have. I've got my milk measured out. I am going to heat this up in the microwave just for a tad, just to take the chill off of the milk. I don't know if that stuff step is totally necessary, but that's just what I do. While I'm waiting for that, we are also going to need a quarter cup of flour. And then here I have a seasoning mixture of seasoned salt, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. I also took the time to get this pan that I'm going to bake the macaroni and cheese in. I just got it well buttered and ready to go. I'm going to get our heat on. This comes together so fast. I don't know if I mentioned, this is a half stick of butter. Butter is all, all melted, so we are going to add in our flour. Get that all absorbed, get the starch cooked out of the flour, but you also don't want to cook it so long that it burns. about one minute. Now I'm going to get the milk in. Already making a mess as usual. I'm just going to continue to stir this I just cleaned my stove too and now I'm dripping milk all over it. It's really bothering me. I'm going to turn the heat up just a tad to get this a little hotter. And just when this thickens, starts to thicken a little bit, then I'm going to move forward because you don't want it to get too thick because then you pour in your cheese mixture and the whole thing is just way too thick. And that does happen, just add in a splash of milk to get you back to the consistency that you are looking for or want. Okay, it's starting to show some signs of thickening and it's starting to boil. So I'm gonna kick down the heat a little bit. Now I'm going to add in our spice mixture. Get that well incorporated. Now I turned off the heat and I'm going to add in the four cups of cheese. Because this is all hot enough and bubbling enough to melt this. Oh, 
Oh, that's looking so perfect. Now it's all melted. I am just going to pour the mixture in here. I didn't add all of it yet because I want to give it a stir. I used almost all of the noodles, but not quite. And I'm glad I didn't because I would have trouble fitting this all in here. I do have some more of the cheese sauce though that I am going to take the time and scrape out of the pan, but I'm going to get this into the oven after that and come back and we will do a taste test later and show you what it looks like after I bake it. I'm just going to put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes or so just to get it a little bubbly and brown on top. Look at that. Let's give that a try. Okay, it is time to give the macaroni and cheese a taste test. It's hot and bubbly, but we're gonna give it a try. Mm. Out of this world. I already know it. Mm. Wow. That is so good. And part of, to me, what makes that so good is the little spice mixture that I put into our sauce, the cheese sauce. It's really, really flavorful. The cheese balance is perfect. Another recipe I highly recommend or I would be bringing this to you. I just wanna say thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, I could pop another video in right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.